to the community gaming $10,000 EV.io Dread Gauntlet. I'm Jim Basco. That's Ravish, your lovely duo for today and tomorrow. $10,000 on the line, man. How you feeling coming into this weekend? We got two days of straight heat lined up for our audience. Well, Jim, I would think things will be a very fun time, uh, I would say, personally, because uh, if looking at the game so far, we've got a buttload of teams <laughs> to, to go ahead and get through today, considering everybody coming in for this. And of course, uh, we got a lot of prize money to give out to, and of course, it makes sense. We got a lot of homies playing today as well. I'm personally excited I've been playing the game the past little bit, and it is a heck of a lot of fun. It's a heck of a lot of fun. It's an arena shooter. We'll get into all the mechanics in just a moment. But of course, the EV.io Dread Gauntlet is brought to you by Community Gaming. CG provides a tournament platform for games like Apex Legends, Super Smash Bros, Hearthstone, and so much more. Community Gaming also supports a wide variety of grassroots tournaments, offering tools, guidance, and a lot more to organizers to help supercharge their events. Head on over to communitygaming.io if you want to learn more. Isn't, ain't that right, Ravish? That's a hundred percent right, Jim. Communitygaming.io to learn everything you could ever want. Host your current host your tournament on community gaming today. Of course, I have a lot of friends in community gaming too. I've attended some of the workshops, and although I will never host a tournament, but it was cool to listen to them. And I'm like, ha, ah, I could probably use this one day. That was great. Uh, so big shout out to them for doing that, all that, which is fun. But aside from that, like you're saying, right? It's a uh, considering we already talked about the community gaming gym. Let's talk about the EV.io because that's yeah. what we're here for today, right? That's that's what we got going on for the entire day. That's what we got going on, indeed, man. It's going to be three v three. It's going to be a team deathmatch format. And if you're not familiar with EV.io, you've been missing out. It's an arena-based shooter taking place in your browser, so it's easy to play, and you can play it on your phone too. It's accessible on mobile. So we'll get into the mechanics as we go on through the day. But things to expect: you spawn in with a couple of weapons. You can choose between like a sort of like a deagle, you know, a laser rifle that deals a lot more damage, mm -hmm. shoots a lot slower. You can sub out for the machine gun, which everyone knows is constant damage it tracks it's you know reliable it's all reliable mm -hmm. or you can end up with a shotgun so there's a couple of ways you can start off your match and of course abilities and points are things that we'll explain more and more as the day goes as the day goes on but like you said man we have a ton of teams competing today for ten thousand dollars what are you looking most forward to today because today's bo um it's best of one it's single elimination mm -hmm. all the way through tomorrow once we make it to top eight we're going into a double elimination bracket, so the stakes will be even mm -hmm. higher. Exactly, right? Because instead of tomorrow, all the games will be best of threes, we'll have finals being best of fives, but we'll get into that once we get to the next day, right? Let's focus on today. Let's focus on today's problems for today's us. Which that being, right? All the keys are coming in today. Now, what I'm looking forward to, my friend, with what I've been testing out so far, there are certain mechanics in the game that have made this very fun, right? You, of course, have the movements that makes things very interesting where, where you can jump, you can slide, you can move, you can dive. Alongside of that, the, the overall options to be able to TP, go behind people. And what I'm looking forward to the most is people getting shocked off the map with, with a shock nade. That is simply yeah, honestly, it. That is awesome. It's a lot of fun. If you've been into arena shooters in the past, like you've played Halo, if you've played a lot of Call of Duty, things that you're going to be able to recognize from those games that are carry on over into this one, slide mechanics, jumping around, stuff like that, things that may be a little more new to people is they incorporate abilities. And like you're saying, those impulse grenades, those teleports. And so each of these characters can equip a certain amount of abilities. You get a couple of points and you can distribute them how you like. If you want to be more proficient in running and sliding, you can make that happen. If you want to be the double jump guy who's teleporting across the map, you can mm -hmm. also make that happen. So the possibilities are pretty much endless and you can make the game fit your play style. So honestly, there's a lot of strategies you can um, adhere to in this game to mm -hmm. make your money but um it really just comes down to who's the better player so there's a lot of strats there's a lot of things that you also need to watch out for revish like power-ups right there's big mm -hmm. old weapons across the map and that's going to dictate yeah. kind of your flow you know not just the fact that you said though that sentence without without just leaning into saying big old weapons uh <laughs> it's something surprising to me jim but i'm sure we'll get used to that throughout the day but yeah like you're saying there's there's like four or five guns that, that everybody can get used to and to be able to either pick up for themselves or deny from the other people right that being the sniper that's super long range one dome headshot does a stupid amount of damage to of course you have your hand cannon as well right that being that as you call the deagle in, in essence and of course, the more options you can pick up, uh, the shotgun you can find, and also SMG, which is doo doo. But it, it doesn't <laughs> matter. What matters is that you just you are the pick of the resources for yourself, and then I for the team because you can stack all these weapons, 
like for yourself as well which is the biggest part run up the ammo and destroy it and leave it for somewhere else and as spawns do manage to change every single time so you're not truly sure which one manages to find next right considering it's tdm as well jim so for us one of the top it will go, go ahead and hit that number we'll run out the clock does win simple enough absolutely yeah i'm honestly really excited because like we mentioned it's tdm and so the strategy for a lot of these teams is that they're trying to get the ball rolling early keep that momentum high because like you said the spawns are pretty tight tight on a smaller mm -hmm. map like fractal um so we'll see that as we head on into our first game but uh ravish we got a long day ahead of us and i gotta say i am excited man Mm hmm yes sir my friend considering uh we got a lot of teams to get through we got a lot of homies to be able to watch and uh of course some of these players you know like uh, our puck squads coming in and some of these are legit teams who are very very good at this game which does can, which can sometimes make for a small bit of a differential speaking of which though you know we should be getting into the game in just about 30 seconds we'll be watching fractal throughout the entire day as we're now in for Xbox atlantic versus the undeads all right let's head on over into the game undeads in blue and export atlantic of course in the yellow itself and so there's a couple of names that we're seeing that are familiar s gauge we've seen him in our actual previous tournament that happened way earlier in the year and if you haven't been paying attention ev.io you know it's been a work in progress a lot of people have been hopping into this game and if you want to join the function today head on over to ev.io in your browser on your hmm. phone on your pc wherever you are and you can get in on this function but already export atlantic Rav, they're already up at nine to one, starting this game with a blowout. It is wild how quickly things snowball from within the past forty seconds, right? You were looking at it as suddenly, and when, when in the middle of my sentence, we're up at twelve, and this comes down to what we're talking about before, right? Is being able to catch the other enemy team spawns, taking out the map, and the TP is one of the big things about the fractal map that can even make a bit of a difference with how quickly you can go across the entire map. That right there, which you just saw as well, was one of the players right over from Perexborg mining in front of the TP. It's a very common strat because, you know, it's a pretty decent spawn point and just being able to place that trap there too, you're almost guaranteed to at least get some chip damage down on the on the enemy team. Yeah, absolutely. Just thinking ahead, right? Um, like you're saying, get some damage down, start working together as a squad and export. They have the experience to put themselves ahead. 20 to seven right now, they are cooking. And of course, what you're seeing here is grouping. TDM, um, honestly, if you can, you want to try to approach each situation like a 3v3, right? Why go in without a team, man? And so what you're seeing here is just quick movements, a quick double kill picked up by Lexi and uh, looking for the third here. If they can get the stagger on the spawn, they'll be in a good spot, dude. Oh, yeah, beautifully. So unfortunately, that the second tier doesn't work out over from Big Boy. But nonetheless, there's a sniper that we were talking about before as well. The long range battle continues forth, uh, but you can't get the quick scope, unfortunately. <laughs> Big Boy, unfortunately, out of two in a row, man. He's so so close and i like that name too there's big boy and of course his teammate zero dark flirty i'm a fan <laughs> <laughs> that's my favorite christopher nolan movie that's <laughs> so good oh, by the way yeah but like you're saying uh as it stands that we have forced to be able to deal with this so we'll continue to see forward if undeads can possibly come back from it's not too far off but if they are to time the score up they gotta do one thing which is not die into uh stop the expert atlantic from just coming out two for one every single time yeah it's tough man undead's doing a good job of kind of closing the gap just a little bit but you know they've got such a mountain to climb export atlantic are just cooking and with five minutes left on the clock they have a what feels like a lifetime to finish out this match 36 to 16 atlantic really just started on fire rap we were talking about momentum prior to the game even beginning and mm -hmm. they've got it yeah sure i think uh if you <laughs> considering we got four minutes and 40 seconds left still too so they're fine to be able to move around the entire map i no, he dropped <laughs> himself off the map. <laughs> oh, you hate to see it. That's unfortunate. Not all good, though. It's fine. One thing, though, I do want to talk about, aside from all that, is uh, the continuing the continuing forward movement that uh, we have been witnessing throughout the entire day, which I think, in right. general, has been insanely fun. And uh, going from wall to wall, past the next. And at a certain point, Xbox Atlantic will reach the cap probably because they need 
<laughs> right at a certain point they will and they're just making their way up slowly but surely lexi with another double kill there off the nade and the mine and obviously like you were talking about rap just keeping the presence of mind to be doing this damage across the map thinking about the tps and where these players want to be of course these comms must be coming in as well because you can see the teams working like a pack of piranhas around the map to isolate these fights and there they are with long range support finishing it out export get landing at 46 to 24 they're looking really good man really good right now is definitely the, the, the most accurate statement you could say as they're about to reach a 50 piece within a matter of seconds well i think that should be able to level them up more and more as of right now though see lexi going forward just jumping across the entire map as he reached that 50 piece that oh so coveted number so confident so good and of course you see the scoreboard lexi with a 4.2 kd that's insane bro that doesn't just happen and so of course shout outs to export atlantic looking down in their first match of the day but of course these are names that we're familiar with we saw them compete earlier on in the year so kind of to be expected but of course blowing out their competition in this first uh first round of this bo3 mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah sure all right and if with if this is kind of how the trend is continuing right where you saw within the first 40 seconds they're already at 12 and they're looking at it almost about double the score Wild. they managed to get i'm assuming this is gonna continue forward now the biggest thing i'm looking at for their opponents is like all right y'all gotta be able to somehow monopolize the power weapons although it may not make the biggest difference but at least will give you a small bit of advantage you can maybe play for a long range or at least just try to tie things up a little bit more so considering how many close range fights we've seen the xbox like, like to take hey maybe this is time to bring out that dude with smg might not be too bad that's just that's <laughs> might just not be opinion, too bad though. Yeah. No, I, I mean, it's a good thought, too, because like you were mentioning, right, that forward pressure that we were seeing from Export Atlantis, mm -hmm. they just kept on going. They kept staggering the other team, and you couldn't almost get a footing for maybe two seconds that we see both the teams on separate sides of the map, right? Not just mm -hmm. getting in each other's faces. So if they can keep that forward momentum up, like you said, first couple of seconds, they're already up at 12 frags. They kept the pre uh, pedal to the metal the entire way through. And so now going into round two, what mm -hmm. the opposition has to do is try to bring that game to them, right? Set your own pace, like you're saying. Maybe grab some of the heavy weapons, do some damage with those hand cannons, and uh, start some early frags up, man. Uh, honestly, they're going to have their work cut out for them, though. This export team looks good. Yeah, it's... a uh, Yeah, they're pretty good, man. It's a... Uh, it's going to be a tough time, but hey, but the, the biggest thing is, at least... We're staying on the same map, right? So not too many other variables we got to work about. Fractal is like as small, as tight, as close. You don't have to necessarily think a ton about you know, your spawns changing, which that might be another thing, right? If you can lock down the spawns from the players as there aren't too many options, then hey, you know, the, the big the, the, the big look at other, other titles like where, where we're caught. They just spawn camp things, look to flip things around. And from there, things work out a lot better. So maybe... The spawn camming, although has a negative connotation, but really positive in competitive senses. <laughs> yeah, it could work out for them here. And so like the spawns will continue to move around the map too. But like you said, that forward pressure that Atlantis keeps, they just mm -hmm. keep going spot to spot. So honestly, if you want to break something like that, what we're going to need to see is more usage of those movement abilities, sure. right? We were talking about it earlier. You want to make sure you're with your team so that, you know, if you do go down, you can get traded out. So here we go into round two of this first best of three of the day with export Atlantic on the yellow and the undead in blue. Hmm. I was gonna say too, man. I like that you could also change up and customize your skins of the game as well. They look mad nice too. Mm -hmm. Tons of customizable options that we're stuck in the EV at IO. Love how it looks so far. For now, though, uh, we'll look forward to just long wing JR works out for x but don't manage to secure the pickoff, though, unfortunately. Yeah, good stuff. And of course, this is all reminiscent of arena shooters of the past. And so if you want to get into the game and you're looking at this and it looks like a lot of fun, head on over to EV.io on your phone, on your computer, mm -hmm. wherever you may be. And you can just start playing today. Play to earn, man. Everything is happening on Solana. And these competitors are playing for 10,000 bucks, dude, over the course of these two days. So a what? lot on the line. That's, That's crazy. crazy. I mm -hmm. never even seen $10,000. I don't even know what that <laughs> looks like, what that feels like. It's, uh, but I mean, I'll digress. And oh, that was cool what you saw there too, where where it's actually Lexi Branch actually TP behind Morgan.
two, and then from there be able to finish off the actual kill. Where all where that looked to be an even or possibly even one for one, but that's the kind of things we're talking about, right? Within these uh, within these arena shooters, how quickly the pace of the game can change once again. The TP for TP and Xburg Atlantic just looks so clean with it. Yeah, good stuff with that nade. Gets into the smoke, and gets out of trouble now. Close range, like you're talking about with that SMG, man. Doing some damage, they find one, and they're trying to get out of there, but it's a sticky situation. Export Atlantic, man. 17 to 4. They are just taken up on this scoreboard. Yeah, already almost halfway there. Uh, <laughs> within a very, very quick pace. Remember, it's 50 to be able to take it all or until the time runs out, but I doubt we'll actually manage to reach the end point, Jim. For now, though, you know, they do at least get a couple of seconds to breathe between one another. And I see right now my man is using that charge rifle as well, which uh, is taking some time and long range shots not gonna hit just yet. But if you do manage to get the full charge, I believe one shot of the body does take all of your health. So in the long range, I like the strike. Yeah, good stuff. You could see uh, they had Big Boy with that uh, machine gun in the close range while Lexi and S-Gage stayed far away um, and are nailing these shots. And of course, Big Boy joining the fray here. They are tearing up the undeads from a distance. And of course, there's a lot of strategy to this game. Do you as a group decide to keep your distance and keep fighting the enemy team if they keep chasing you? You know, we were talking about how do you escape? How do you deal with that pressure? This is exactly how an export Atlantic, even though they were the ones putting the pressure down in the first round, they are here in the second, keeping their distance with these rifles and not allowing undeads to even get a chance, man. No, not even a second, right? Because we've seen that in the past a little bit, like undeads like have managed to rack up just about four kills uh within only uh within only i think just, uh, just the past two minutes right where meanwhile expo atlantic have moved to 14 not 15 as well so for every it's it's, it's, it's either for every two undeads get expo atlantic gets six and that's a multiplier yeah. that you know you that is exactly in your favor i'm not too good at that <laughs> jim but you let me know yeah, no, I'm, it was never my strong suit either. So here we are, two clueless individuals, but it's okay. Someone <laughs> will figure it out for us, my man. 38 to 10, x work Atlantic, though. They're just looking so good. And honestly, like you had mentioned it at the uh, in round one of this best of three, um, yeah. but their dominance of their the TPs using the nades to just predict mm -hmm. where the undeads are going is shutting down this game so hard. x yeah. Atlantic are just walking over these guys, bro. And those TPs in fact as well are so essential because that's the biggest way you can create space between you and the other team, right? And now through this as well, with with like you're saying that we will dominate that, undead is just locked into one corner. They're forced to kind of go for one spawn, but kind of playing their life for it. And past that to any sort of power weapons are already have extra Galantic in front of it. So they Jeez. may manage to win one because they're low enough. And now look at that. It's already done. So extra Galantic take a clean 2-0. Wow, and look at that, 17, 17, and 16. As even as you could get for Xborg Atlantic, picking up just a, a, such a quick first round victory and yeah. with all of them contributing equally. That's insane, man. Um, you don't really see that. So congrats to Xborg Atlantis. They're moving on from that first round in easy fashion in the undeads, man. Mm -hmm. I, you know, like maybe they were the biggest pond in their i mean the biggest pond maybe they were the biggest fish in their little pond but the game just got real you know they're playing for ten thousand dollars now yeah the group so far may be a little bit more akin to this as we continue forward because like we're saying there are some pug squads there's some squads that kind of picked up the game yesterday maybe mm -hmm. necessarily? and there's squads that have been playing for well over a year there are squads that are like under teams right who play and probably practice game every single day sometimes that can be tough but hey after with quick crumbles when you got all this on the line but now we are waiting we will get into another match for y'all asap so bear with us for a couple of seconds until you can go ahead and watch jim's and i's beautiful faces talk a bit more about the game here maybe you yeah our sponsor as well jim how about that yeah absolutely why don't we talk about that why don't we talk about you know cg overall and what we got going on because community gaming ultimately if you don't know is a tournament platform that hosts tournaments for a variety of games and their questing system this might be the first time you're hearing about this mm -hmm. allows you to earn rewards for simply using the platform daily each day, you're going to be able to complete quests involving learning, competition, and social media actions to earn USDC, that's US dollar coin, and mm -hmm. other crypto rewards. So if you type in exclamation point quest in the Twitch chat and follow the link, you can start earning rewards for your efforts today, Revish. Have you, you know, like there's so much incentive to get involved. Exactly that, because uh, if you are watching the game right now, 
And you're thinking, man, EV.io looks pretty fun. Boy, do I have news for you. Community Gaming is hosting another EV.io tournament next weekend on December the 17th and the 18th. That's like exactly seven days away. Wow. <laughs> now, of course, EV.io, the coin based 1v1 tournament, arrives to crown the absolute champion. Now, of course, this is 3v3, so it was going to be a lot more intense, a lot more heated, a lot more sneaky deaky doobs, but. We'll get into that next week. Of course, now y'all make sure to tune in. Watch the zip across the sky, snipe down one another, and battle out for the title of champion. Type yeah. go ahead. Exclamation mark Coinbase in the chat for more information and the link to sign up. Maybe become champion yourself. Right? Get some, get some, get some of that prize money. And also, if not, you just play. You just had fun playing EV.io, and you're never losing out when you're having fun. Ah, uh, that's right, Ravish. Of course, like you mentioned, it's a 1v1 tournament next week. So if you've not gotten involved and you don't even need a team, man, for this next tournament. So oh. I would honestly try it out because to be completely real with you, I'm mm -hmm. sure that a lot of people looking at EV.io for their first um at first glance, they might be like, oh, it's a browser based game. It's an it's an FPS in a browser. You can't run that well. It can't feel that good. It runs really well and it feels that good, which is really surprising. And mm -hmm. I think because of that, we get such competitive games like we saw with Export Atlantis. And so I'm super excited for that 1v1 tournament. Like Ravish mm -hmm. mentioned, it's going to be happening next week, December 17th and mm -hmm. 18th. And the stream will be happening on the 18th. So um, it'll be a lot of fun, man. And I'm kind of excited for these arena shooters to get back into the spotlight yes, because yes, we need yes. a good one. Yes, please. I've. Uh... There has been like a quake drought uh, for so long. And remember, this is a conversation that uh, I remember seeing a lot that, for example, that Myth was having uh, mm -hmm. with many of the people, right? He was talking about how the movement and this movement right. shooters have uh, kind of been out of the game ever since Titanfall. I didn't take off to be fair. Titanfall was very ahead of its time, in my opinion. Yeah. Very, very so fun too. game. Um, it's phenomenal to the state Titanfall too. Someone's log on to play just because, because, and the community is still surprisingly active. But you know, movement like that has been added to Call of Duty, and like ever since uh, options that we've seen, like like games like EV Dia, or nothing like like the future, right? Where mm -hmm. movement is fun, sure it can feel chaotic too, but it uh, provides so much skill expression that there's like a certain flow state you manage to reach, and I want to be able to feel that again. I want to be able to traverse across the entire map, slide nade somebody, and go around once again, almost right. in one fell swoop. And that's that's kind of what this game is meriting you, right? You get the slides, you get the nades, you get these the sniper rifles, the charge rifles, the machine guns, you get a little bit of everything. So it's really exciting. And of course, like we've been saying all day long, EB.io, just navigate on over to that site from your PC, from your mobile phone, whatever mm -hmm. it might be, and you can get involved today. So with all of that said, we are getting ready to get into the next match. And of course, if you need more information on anything, exclamation Coinbase, exclamation point quest. Those two mm -hmm. will be your main two things but if you also want to go ahead and look at the bracket exclamation point bracket as we are getting ready for this next match between team gululu and x <laughs> fappy mm. i'm excited it's fun man oh by the way quick tip if you're on google chrome if you don't yes. have hardware acceleration turned on turn that on right that'll help make the game run much smoother as well from the i learned um with with a, a lot of browser experience in general um, yeah, no, for most things, for the most of the browsers, like I say, if you're running on, um, like, uh, like Firefox or mm. like Microsoft Edge, if you frequently use that, you will have different options. But for Chrome, I know usually hardware accelerator options are available and that'll help your gameplay experience a lot smoother. I had to learn the hard way. I was walking in and I'm like, hmm, some don't feel right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Finagling with those settings will definitely help you. I also mess with my keybinds a lot, and I actually yeah, yeah, yeah. found them to uh, pretty much the Quake keybinds. And within five minutes, I, I was just you know gliding through the game, and it felt so good. And I was like, dude, this is a browser-based game. I can't believe it. It's crazy, right? And remember, uh, just also with the, also with, with the biggest thing too is how you have a lot of options in terms of what you put your points into. You have about three right. to four based on every single option, right? Depending on your reload, your slide time. So like you're, you're jumping even can definitely be just based upon what you want to invest into what kind of player you mm -hmm. are and that kind of just uh, experience in terms of and also customization right, right. is uh is what makes the game a lot of fun as well too because you can play yeah, with your the skins 
Yeah, the, the skins, skins are insane. They're absolutely insane. NIP is getting their own skins in this game, by the way. It's hey. kind of nuts. Yeah, I was like, what? And of course, there's a lot of NFT skins that you can buy as well that are completely just out of this world. Go check them out on the EV.io store. But of course, um, like Ravish was saying, you can customize your abilities to fit your play style. Me personally, mm -hmm. I like a lot of the movement. I like a lot of the quick movement specifically. So I opted not to take a double jump. Had a single jump. I had the mm -hmm. two teleports though, and I'm running that impulse nade. Dude, I was cooking with that setup. So, but mm -hmm. one thing that was frustrating for me personally, but it's a strategy that works for other people. Um, uh, some people really like the projectile movement, right? So they had mm -hmm. the impulse nades, they had the mines and the trips. Yeah. The amount of times I like teleport, teleport right into a trip because someone knew I was gonna teleport and set that up. They're thinking ahead, dude. You know, like the brain, my brain was cooking. I, I it smelled weird in here because of the factory fumes, <laughs> but it was, it had me thinking, you know. Exactly, right? And we, 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 we've said already just how intelligible just the game can be if you do get a hang for it as well. Which, mm -hmm. speaking of which, uh, we should be getting into the game in just a couple of seconds as well. Or we'll get the lobby together to be able to get into our next match for y'all. But until then, you know, we'll, we'll go back vibe and take a time a little bit too. Where also, all one reminds me is uh, what you're talking about, right? Because it's, it's plays like that where I see in other games, right? For example, in mechanics like Overwatch with Junkrat, right? right? Junkrat, it's one of the players where you have to like with 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 the kind of projectile based game that Overwatch is, right? You have you you have your trap, you have your mine, right? That's something that you can use a ton in 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 EV.io as well. You can so you you, you can match set up your nade on one and just explode the player either to a mine you set up on the side. Or of course off the map as well. Mm -hmm. Things that are available everywhere and can make the game just so much more interesting and possibly ruin the other players' mental. Because as long as your opponents are not having fun, that means that you can have fun. <laughs> Honestly, that's kind of what it feels like. And I'm really excited for that 1v1 tournament too, because sure. there is like you were talking about skill expression, right? So I want to see snipes mid-air off those impulse nades like mm -hmm. this is the time you know what i mean so um i'm really excited for that and, and not to say that we won't see any of that today in these 3v3 mm -hmm. matches we've seen some insane stuff happen and we're just in the early rounds of matches so like we're saying you know we have some uh, titans of this ev.io gameplay mm -hmm. world going up against uh, a couple not so experienced players early on that's just the nature of the bracket but you never know we might get a dark horse story too right yeah, that's it. It's entirely possible, right? Because how a team can come in suddenly they've been playing for a hot minute, and those are the those are the, those are the best kind of stories where you're thinking, no shot, they beat this sponsor team, right? And right, suddenly right. they make it to the finals and standing on the stage, and they look across one another and they're like, boys, we did it. And that's the Disney Channel movie that I want to make personally. Yeah, but, man, uh, that would be fun. What, how many years away do you think we are from an esports Disney Channel movie? Honestly, dude. Like maybe two max. Yeah, I think it's like a right around the corner. <laughs> mm -hmm. Cause, uh, cause look, they've been like a ton of like Korean dramas and like J dramas and other dramas I've seen on it. Uh, there's there's a really famous one called The King's Avatar. Uh, that my mom watched actually because she loves Korean dramas. What? No yeah, way. Yeah. yeah, my mom loves Korean dramas, but uh, uh, and she ended up talking to me about it because The King's Avatar. It's about a famous mid laner who goes into it's, it's basically about Faker, kind of. What? Uh, and, <laughs> yeah, it's so cool. And then and they play League of Legends and they actually talk about like the mid lane and all that stuff. And mom was like, Mom, one day Bob room was like, What's mid lane? And I'm like, <laughs> What is <laughs> mid lane? <laughs> like, well, mother, let me tell you, this is the Nexus, right? <laughs> <laughs> that was That's a funny, really man. fun conversation where I, like, I sat down for her for an hour and explained League of Legends to her. And that was really cool. With that, though, yeah. we'll cut to the bracket as well, to just be able to see you know, what other teams they were talking about as well, Jim. Yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at it. And of course, you know, we just watched um, Export Fappy, or rather Export Atlantis move on. Mm -hmm. Of course, Export has a couple of teams in here. And so the match that we'll be heading on over to next will be towards the bottom team, Gululu versus Export Fappy. And of course, mm -hmm. as you're seeing more and more of these matches are getting done. And of course, as we progress through the day, we'll be bringing you the best of the best in action leading up to tomorrow's top eight competition, all playing for $10,000, man. I keep bringing that up because that's a lot of money. That's true. It's not. Now, Jim, I must ask you the ultimate question. If you had ten dollars right now, what would you yes? Do? 
If I had ten dollars right now, honestly, $10. I would put it towards getting another six skin in this game because fair enough. I've <laughs> been seeing some amazing setups from people and it kind of intimidates you when you see someone with like some swag approaching you you're like oh man yeah. maybe i shouldn't be fighting this guy but we're right into the next match and x borg starting off strong they're in blue it seems like it'll be a tighter one though as it's two to one here in the first fight never mind it's three to one it may not be jim <laughs> it may not be <laughs> but as i say that we probably get a couple seconds to actually do breed hold still man just tp away but he's up against two different people oh my god he actually got out of there but into one more person close call close call for sure and that's the danger of these movement abilities right they can get you out of sticky situations but they can also put you into worse ones we saw one player launch himself off the map another player launch himself into another team you know so it can really go either way got to be conscious of what you're doing and what your team's up to here taking the fight to the red team here x work fap you working really well together as a squad 11 to 4 in this first minute of the gameplay man yeah, Team Gulu as well, too, is not looking to shine down here either. Because uh, with what we've seen, like, they managed to regroup after after the first little kind of kerfuffle that happened, linked up the spawns. But unfortunately, pickups like that is uh, what Big Pappy is doing. Just to keep throwing wrench of the plans. One minute kill happen. Oh, we didn't get to see it. But somebody got shot off the map. Oh, man, but it's fine. And as I say, they're looking to come back. I thought they finally managed to sync up. The hand cannon being used. Unfortunately, I'm not able to any get any of the top rope. But... 17 to 5. Oh. 17 to 5. And there's that NRP skin in full full display here. Um, and of course, hand cannon hitting the shot, finishing it off with the MG. Of course, you love to see it. And that switch yeah. is just one of the classic things, you know, from Quake, from games of FPS days past. So shout outs to EVIO, really bring the arena shooter mm -hmm. style back into popularity. 21 to 5, though, for Fappy. Looking good and knowing when to get out is a good trait to have. For sure. And with this though, there was one thing that I didn't want to talk about. Oh, he has watched that TV as well. <laughs> one thing I did want want, want her to bring up too is the TTK in this game, which when you look at games you know, like Quake and such, like even Titanfall, even it's not too long either. So it feels uh, a lot nicer to play. I find where you know we're in a lot of real shooters like these where TTK can be super high. You have to be chuck nades, get domes like so consistently especially right. when you do, may not have aim assist and such right that's where i find it, it can get almost tedious but here it feels like clean and like really just solid to operate yeah really solid to operate i think that's um definitely part of it like they made it so that it's accessible as an arena shooter the ability system and the point system i think is a great idea um sure. and you can just kind of hop in and start shooting you know you don't really need a super intensive pc to be running this thing and so mm -hmm. x -Borg running away with this game man 34 to team gululu's eight when at the very first fight it looked close that is clearly not the case here x -Borg training like you mentioned man some of these people grinding away in this game that's crazy from that too but team gululu got one all right it's a uh, it was a long range shot <laughs> up against three different people with all the, the whole team almost had him but for the one once again it's they've continued to rack up the points on x borg where there's one it's exactly 10 kills remaining for them to be able to, for them to be able to get the first point the best of three absolutely ridiculous x borg doing a fantastic job here shutting them down good movement there and of course what you're seeing as well is the slides and of course if you look at the bottom left, you've got a health bar and you've got a purple bar, which is a stamina bar. So you can sprint, you know, until your stamina is gone. And of course, sliding will also con uh, consume stamina, but it does help you speed up as well. So movement is key here. You got to be able to slide around. Got to be able to use these impulse nades to your advantage. And export fat, Ooh. man, 50 to 10 with wow one of their players securing a 5 KD, the second securing a 7.5 KD. That's insane, Ravish. That is wild, bro. It was 2015-15, bro. This is like, so first, respect to them for clearly putting in a, a even effort. What I did see, though, is mm -hmm. I saw control shots a lot from wrong range, especially from Poppy as well. Just using that AR straight up, right? Nothing else too fancy, nothing crazy. Put it on the map, but it was just clean, clean control spray, one. And two, just staying so far up where you usually see somebody like that mm -hmm. using a sniper or the charge rifle, right. but no. He's one to use projectile straight up, and he's quite accurate with it as well.
I, it was really good to watch. And of course, the movement, like we're talking about, just moving as a unit is almost the biggest thing here. Um, mm-hmm. Wherever they went, they went as three. You can't deal with these people swarming you, oh. especially if you have less experience shot calling and like listening to those shot calls. So x honestly, they're on fire. I wouldn't be surprised to see multiple of these teams make it even further into the bracket. Mm-hmm. Not at all, right? Because uh, like we were saying, these teams have some support behind them as well. They know that mm-hmm. they probably grounded this game a lot too. And clearly it shows. So I do have to wonder what happens when one x team goes up against the other, right? Because so that's where I think we'll see a ton of competition come in within our BO3s, mm-hmm. of course, we're speaking of which, as of course, only the first, uh, the second BO3 that we will see up against these two teams. So well, we'll take a couple of seconds to get the lobby all recent before we hop back into Fractal. But as well, right now, like the, the team so far from them look like the people to beat. Yeah, it's kind of insane. And so, like you mentioned, I am really excited. Um, when you mentioned export teams meeting up against each other, I was like, oh, yeah, wait, that'll actually be really good to watch because when you have teams that are actually trained against each other, working and playing a game it'll be a completely different showing for sure so i can't wait till we get there but of course you know still a lot of matches to be played and maybe that was just a warm-up match um for the opposing team here export maybe they're in for something as we head on into the second round of that bo3 but like we mentioned here's a look at this bracket Time pass and MVP XMMG thingy all the way at the top. Poochie, 300 milliseconds ping in that second slot. Export Cats and McKenzie in this third slot here. And of course, our match of the hour, match of the minute down at the bottom. So, Revish, mm-hmm. we've got a lot still to go, but it was awesome to watch little windows of opportunity come from uh, Team Gululu using those long range uh, snipe shots, right? Like, even though they yeah. didn't get a lot of points, most of their points were from that long range fight. So, Maybe there's something there for them. I mean, it's entirely possible, right? Especially if you can control the TP space that you're mentioning. That's where you can naturally stay safe because it's a pretty good vantage point for where a lot of the fights were happening. And if somebody does appear in front of you, then, you know, things things do get a little bit easier. Nonetheless, we'll look to see how things move on forward with the bracket between all these two because, uh, you know, we, we've got two export teams, one after the next. As a... Uh, we look towards the bottom end of the bracket as they're progressive and even faster as well. Uh, big no cal. I'm gonna try that one more time. <laughs> big old cabal. Mm, you try, Jim. <laughs> big O D cabaludo. I don't I actually don't know. I really have no clue. <laughs> that could mean a lot of things, probably in a lot of different languages, but we wouldn't be able to tell Ooh. you. But, um, of course, there's a lot of teams playing, and that's why we have multiple brackets going on. Of course, today, we're playing all the way up to top eight revish. And then tomorrow, we're bringing you the best of the best going into a double elimination bracket. Mm-hmm. As entirely collect, as we'll look forward to some more of the teams that we got going on here today, right? Uh, we did see the Expo team lead just, just this morning with Expo Atlantic, right? They managed to progress even further uh, past the match that we saw against the Embed. And we're now waiting on to see how Emmy Juju's team, which shout out to her, that's the homie, goes, uh, does against Avocado. And they'll be facing up against Exborg Nubs. Meanwhile, on the other end, in Utero versus Team MF. Uh, well, <laughs> <laughs> waiting on their match to go up against Exborg Atlantic. <laughs> That's awesome. Those are good names, too. But of course, like we're saying, we got a couple of influencers playing in this tournament, too. I'm happy for them to try out the game and like really experience what it is because I think it's a mm-hmm. solid shooter that more people will get into. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir, my friend. And with the last packet that we have in front of us, right? We still we we're still going through just just our second phases here. Well, the first phase, I should say, past all the buys. Survival Brazil bullet too seems like Sobo. I've been quite far past Silence Killer, but a good internet versus Crimson. We'll see which which one of them two goes up against Sobo. They were also waiting on the results between Ra- which between Roxas and Pathfinders and Survival versus Brazil Bullet, which RIP to Brazil yesterday, the World Cup. Yeah, man. I I cannot believe the way this uh, bracket is going in the World Cup <laughs> this year, but we won't talk about that. <laughs> yeah, but, um, dude. <laughs> there's, I, yeah. I'm happy for Morocco. Let's just say, you know what I mean? No, like, you're I'm not. Really no, you're not. Stop the cap. <laughs> I am. I am. I'm not. Uh, after this, you know, I really like Hakimi. I gotta say, like that's my guy. Okay. So, okay, all right. I'm really you know happy. I, I want to believe you. We'll see what happens. But 
Uh, <laughs> <it's> a, <laughs> we can we can get into that later on. We should talk about some video games instead. As I believe we do have the next uh, team as well. I'm getting ready to go in for next best three, but that's 300 MS ping versus Poochie. And we'll see how tightly packed this game can be. I believe that one of these is still within our main back yeah. system, right? So it should, should be a fun time. Yeah, should be a fun time. And, you know, at the end of the day, like these games, arena FPS shooters really test how good you are at a variety of things. Tracking, projectile, flicking, right? Those are the main three forms of aim that go into these sorts of game. And so... Um, the game is on getting ready to go under get underway and we're going to be heading into that you know second round of that bo3 um but like we were just saying it incorporates the best of the best of aiming flicking tracking mm. and projectiles so if you can master those three things with the machine gun with the you know the hand cannon and that grenade launcher then you can be the best of the best at ev.io i'm really excited to see what we've got in store for today because as we work through the bracket man the games are just going to continue to get better and it's been quick so far, but that's obviously not going to be the case as we move forward. And like we said, we've got people, influencers playing in this tournament who have experience with FPS titles, new faces, people we've never seen before, and experienced players all in one. So who knows how this is going to turn out, my man. <laughs> oh, indeed, as we do, as we do manage to pop it, it's, it's a couple of the seconds. One thing to note, though, is uh, nobody, Jim, is using the burst rifle. We did, yeah. uh, you know, so we saw almost every single option possible between the shotguns, the ARs, the charges, but three on burst, nobody seems to like it. I don't know why. Yeah, it's, you know, when you think about it, like the machine gun's awesome because you're tracking on the move, right? You could be chasing mm -hmm. them and you're like finishing off those kills. Like we saw a lot. Someone would use a hand cannon and then swap over to the machine gun, get a big chunk of damage in and then finish off that little bit with the tracking. The burst rifle fits in this kind of weird in-between spot, right? Those three-round bursts, it's almost tracking, it's almost flicking, but it's neither of the two. And if you don't hit all those burst shots, man, you're kind of left out in the dry, right? With the machine gun, at least you got like 40 bullets. You miss those first 10, you still got 30 more. You can still keep tracking. Burst mm -hmm. rifle's brutal, man. So uh, honestly, it's an interesting note to make and something we'll keep an eye on moving forward. But with that said, we're heading into another match. 3 MS, 300 MS ping versus Poochie. And of course, 300 Ooh. MS, the green team and starting off things 3-0. That's a message sent for Vish. Now, what a long range shot and the giant charge rifle to be able to finish off two from long range dragon. Clean up every single person on the other end of the map. I'm very happy we got to see that because that was disgusting. Yeah, really, Poochie just kind of trying to get their wits about them while 300 MS Ping running circles around them and kind of leaving them in the dust. 10 to 1, Revish. We head into 50 seconds of gameplay. Wow. <laughs> no, <laughs> That's quick. I, I was hoping this would be a little bit closer. I'm not going to lie to you, but it's <laughs> unfortunate the other MS Ping. I see you got the scrim time in with the tracking on it. That was clean. And also that was on the SMG too. The quick switch and as soon as you got the power weapon. That was so clean coming off of the dragon once again. Almost taking three for themselves with the one trade coming out is a bit too low. And able to recover the health, which is asking the mechanic that we haven't had to talk about as well, Jim. Yeah, it, you know, they uh, it's uh, they're just putting on a master class bro like sure. i don't even know like the 300 ms ping just doing what we talked about at the very beginning of the show mm -hmm. where they had that one guy at long range like mentioning right with that laser rifle that charge rifle for sure aiming them from across the map sniper rifle doing so much damage and of course you got this guy running around with the mg just cleaning up the rest how does it get better than this well coming right now for 300 uh, ms ping it's maybe to get 25 <laughs> to be already halfway there within one minute? A minute and a half? Honestly? <laughs> yeah. Disgusting, really. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, but it's BO3, right? So got some time. I'm surprised I'm not seeing a lot more people play their life, right? Which, mm -hmm. things like that. Where you're seeing Ahmed hop into the smoke, get his health back to you, and it doesn't take too long for you to be back up at full either. Which is why I was surprised we're not seeing as many flashes as we are smokes, but the preference is clearly there for a reason. Yeah, my gosh, clean from copies. Impulses into the fight, hits the sticky nade off the reload, finds one, finds wow. a second before going down. And th mm -hmm. that's three 
lives to copies one you know what i mean if he can keep doing that which 300 ms ping seems to be doing 35 to 7 right now they are cooking their movement is good and whoever is calling for their team is obviously on point you can see copies goes from or whoever we're watching right now goes from one player to the next and is ready for the supporting shots no matter where his teammates are 15 kills to go my friend and it seems like there's not too much within them getting this within the first game and uh, <laughs> And being able to take the dub, except time for 300 MS ping. Mm -hmm. All you gotta do is be able to rack up 10 more kills at this point. And the differential is crazy between these two teams. Running right now, we've seen Dragon and Copies on the other side. So being able to rack up kills for themselves, but maybe nice. Poochie might be able to take one. Ah, our force close calls for themselves. At the end of it though, five kills left. Yeah, absolutely. And those nades can feel oppressive too, but there is counterplay. You know what I mean? Like you have all this stamina. As soon as you start running and you hit that slide, you actually gain speed. And that's indicated by these orange lines on the HUD when you're playing. And so you can move around and maneuver around this map a lot more than you would expect. And so 300 MS ping, knowing that they come into these fights from the sky, you know, they engage mm -hmm. from up above like drop bears and they come down with nades hailing from above. So really good stuff from 300 them as being just keeping their lead ahead and Ooh. there's 50 even making it to 51 before the lobby closes dude copies got half of those jeez 25 now we were saying how he always gets three for one yeah that's right he just gets squad wipe after squad wipe and then somehow puts on smoke mm -hmm. plays his life Heals back up and it gets three more and then, then right. only he goes down what he's up against at least like like two to more people where you know he can't necessarily play his life but always manage to get the two for one what a great player yeah what a great player and of course he's playing that mg role meaning he's cleaning up a lot of those kills that's why he's mm -hmm. racking up all those points but of course you saw their point man and who i'm assuming is their shot color hitting those shots from afar getting them chunked down and then you just see the rest of the teammates flying mm -hmm. at them with these impulse needs it's disgusting but you know that strategy seems to work absolutely dominant in that first round of this bo3 Mm -hmm. Right, and uh, like you're saying, within within that, this is a BO3. Might be the last one that we see before our small little break, right? And considering the games you've seen so far here, Jim, it's been decently one side. If 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 I have to be pretty honest about it, right now, I know I can't stroke my full beard anymore. But if I am to get some <laughs> small half baked thoughts, I think these teams that we're going to be seeing moving forward as the bracket ends, this is where I find that we'll see much closer matches but until we get there you know it'll likely seem very very leaning towards one side definitely yeah yeah absolutely and you know like you said to be expected that's the nature of an open tournament you know it's awesome um for the teams that are super practiced but it's also awesome sure. for that team of amateurs that maybe are just really good at the game and they they want to mm -hmm. show off you know what i mean like those storylines are now possible so open brackets yes you get some lopsided matches but you may never know who will actually end up in the top eight of tomorrow um and we'll obviously bring you all the updates along the way so we're excited to have you join us for this ten thousand dollar dread gauntlet tournament for evio presented to you by community gaming so shout out to everybody involved for making this happen and of course if you want to learn more Type in exclamation point quest and exclamation point Coinbase for more information about CGNY's questing stuff and mm -hmm. Coinbase tournament, which is happening next week on the 17th and 18th. Mm -hmm. Remember, that's a 1v1 tournament as well. You might probably see Jin's face there again, honestly. You know, his beautiful stash there, like, you know, doing this thing. Wonderful hair, so back, the clean goatee, right? It's oh, all thank there. You. Thank You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> 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 right? It's all entirely possible. Where you know, of course, if you're not, if you if you don't have an, if you, if you don't have two friends to enter the competition with, that's okay. You only yes. need yourself. That's you it. Know, so right now it's me and Jim. So if we don't have a third friend, we're fine. We can enter in one you want to by ourselves. Go up against another, and I can absolutely smash him or get smashed. Either one is possible, and you can <laughs> find out if you are the competition. Yeah. Honestly, it's a lot of fun too. And if you just like FPS games, you liked sniping from Modern Warfare Two, you liked feeling you know the mgs the tracking you liked quake mm -hmm. halo this is a great combination of a lot of these yes. titles and plays really smoothly no matter what you're playing it on mobile pc mm -hmm. laptop whatever you whatever you've got if you're looking for an fps experience that you can play to earn in of course they're all playing to earn on on solana and of course all these prizes mm -hmm. ten thousand dollars worth of it is being distributed in that soul coin as well so mm -hmm. it's 
It's kind of awesome. There's a lot happening in the EV.io world. And of course, make sure you join their Discord, Rav, because mm -hmm. that's where you're going to get the most up-to-date information. Wow, Discord. I like that. I want that right now. That's fun. Yes. By the way, have you got the new icons of Discord as well, where you can see them all cozy? You can make sure to put a blanket yeah. on you. It's really cute. Yeah, yeah, I like that. A little, yeah. little winter, winter time. Yeah. Icons. It's so cute. It's so cute. <laughs> yeah, you know, we're just suckers for that stuff. But of course, we're talking about cosmetics. And if you want cosmetics too, <laughs> ev.io has a store mm -hmm. you can buy these NFT skins at. And of course, the NFT skins that you purchase modify the amount and give you modifiers to on how much of that mm -hmm. money that you actually the coins that you earn per game so yeah it helps you out all across the board but we're going into round two of this bo3 ref yeah sir remember 300 ms ping is already 10 up and it also messed up the first frag as well through that the poochie uh close call there too we're not able to get the trade outs and now it comes the rest of the team for long range once again jim all racked up as three and they find the spawns of poochie and here's where the fight transgresses mm -hmm. absolutely great stuff for the 300 ms ping and once again just cautionary right aware that someone might be that through that tp throws a mine through it clears yeah. his way through and gets a quick couple of charge shots and is on his way beautifully done yeah we're talking about being able to control that space overall right now we're seeing it too two person two people to come out of that tp as well and so we're saying he's, he's going to use that nade to just jump himself across half the map. And he's your fallen 300 MS ping. They have taken a bit. Pucci this time, though, not getting wrapped up one by one. But we're seeing a 300 MS ping is moving across the map as three consistently managing to play their lives through the smokes. But it has not been as one sided as you saw previously. Yeah, and it seems like Poochie were doing a better job, like you said, sticking together. Maybe it works out better for them overall, but 300 MS ping seeming to have slowed down the fight here, and it looks like we're going to get some technical issues sorted out for y'all, but no big mm -hmm. deal as we get this fixed. 300 MS ping versus Poochie, round two in this BO3. Of course, we'll be back with more of that tournament um, match, mm -hmm. but like you said, Poochie, quick off the bat that we mentioned that you uh, picked up on, their adaptation there they're staying close together working as a team get your trades man it works in all games <laughs> so why wouldn't it here indeed as uh we were saying before it was the hundred us ping who were freezing just a bit uh but it got fricked up just like that love that and i think this is where we might see a small change up here jim where <laughs> it might have been the tech but that did not allow poochie well that that did allow poochie to maybe get a small lead ahead but at 300 MS ping, looking to make up for lost time in space. Absolutely, and I'm confident in their ability. Dragon with the swag on. Look with the, him equipped with the red armor, the katana um, strapped to his back. Beautifully done. He's got the mines watching his back as well. And of course, they get triggered by any enemy movement on it. And so, impulsing around the corner, closing that gap. Of course, 300 MS ping. The, the green team here chasing the red team of Pucci. And of course, Pucci on the high ground. Is it going to be useful at all as they're getting wrapped now from both sides? And uh, you're saying it's it, the high guard is nice, but not when the rest of the team is right below you trying to ensure that you can get zero advantages at all. Oh, my God. He actually wins that. <laughs> he comes and out on top, man. In the smoke, he goes, plays life, gets his health back. Copies, man. This player we've been saying for so long. No way. <laughs> uh, that's my favorite move in the game, man. Once you finally get a little bit of a lead, you can hit that impulse, pick up the snipers, start going for those sky shots. Reminds me of Widowmaker from Overwatch and copies. Ooh, yeah. He would be the guy to hit those shots. We've seen him absolutely tearing it up today. I remember there's a famous play in Overwatch 2 where I can't remember the name, but it was a player on the LA Gladiators where it was on King's Row and they, and they wrapped around the entire map. And the one of the players was the Widow and he got like four shots off. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's clean. Classic. Either way. Yeah. Classic moments. And of course, we talking about EVIO incorporating all different elements of shooter titles into this exactly. arena shooter. Whatever experience you got, it'll be relevant using the shots here. And he connects on the back foot. That's a fadeaway if I've seen one. Mm -hmm. You can be Widowmaker. You can be Junkrat. You can be Master Chief. You can be a Titan. Anything and everything you want 
is right here for SMT with EV.io. Or you can be the copies who's just himself. Wow, did you see him get across the entire map? Maybe he gets two here? Ah, oh, yeah, that's a second as well. Clean stuff. Ridiculous. Yeah, they're working so well together. Dragons and copies tearing it up. 39 to 14. Like you mentioned, Pucci taking that bit of an opportunity to score, you know, work up their scoreboard by just a little bit. And they're firing back now here, finding a quick one now. Try, they find two in a row.
Greetings, traveler. You look weary of your efforts going unrewarded. There's no shortage of spoils to be had. Stick with me and claim what is rightfully yours. Welcome back once again. What's up? I'm of course, Ravish Ravish. So here about Jim. And Jim, we thought we got to see a lot of action right before this. And as of right now, we can get to see a little bit more. So, yeah, let's get back into it. That was really awesome. You, we just saw export teams dominate so far. And like you mentioned, man, this is our first day mm -hmm. of competition. We got more coming up tomorrow. Top eight tomorrow. And they're all playing for $10,000, dude. So there's a lot on the line for each of these competitors here today. Mm -hmm. We mentioned throughout the entire day. Of course, we, we, we've got Pug Squads on one end. We've got pro teams on the other. And we got some homies who might be underdogs for the entire day, right? We've seen it. We've seen some of those some of those people play already. We've seen teams of three hundred MS ping, right? Who in general too don't seem to be sponsored by anybody, but they look really, really good as well. So, what happens when they go up against other sponsor squads? Well, we'll probably find out in a bit as we have through the rest of the games that we currently have for y'all today. Until we get into that, though, we do got some time to be able to breathe a little bit. Get y'all mm -hmm. caught up, right? Because, you know, as you know, it's all in community gaming gym. Community gaming is very cool. They host tournaments for a bunch of different games. They you can do. find out about all that, like eb.io, right? Go on their website, make your own tournament, do your thing, and have it casted by us and us only. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, but of course, like he's saying, if you want more info, head on over to communitygame.io slash tournament, and you can check out all the tournaments that are going on. If you want the bracket, we got a lot of exclamation point commands in the Twitch chat. We got exclamation point bracket for obviously the bracket. If you want more information on CG, exclamation point CG. Talent, if you want to follow me and Rav on Twitter, it's exclamation point talent. It's real easy. And of course, this is something that we were talking about earlier in the day but if you're unfamiliar with it community gaming does a really cool thing with their questing don't they rev mm hmm a hundred percent my friend because uh you know they are a similar platform that hosts tournaments for a variety of different games right the question system allows you to earn a reward for simply using the platform daily it's all That's gamified it. because we're gamers so <laughs> each day you'll be able to use the complete quest involving learning competition social media actions to earn usdc and other crypto rewards uh, type an estimation mark quest to find out more and earn rewards today Whether all the crypto stuff considering we got io is of course on solana blockchain we're playing for a lot of mm -hmm. solana coin as well there's a of course, mm -hmm. and it's all where you can manage to purchase that with Solana to earn more Solana and like and more money, rack yourself up. It's crazy how it all works in conjunction. It's a beautiful harmony. It is. It is. It's a beautiful harmony indeed. And of course, we do have a bracket update for you to go over. So let's go on ahead and take a look at that. Of course, it's the community gaming extravaganza. 300 MS ping moving on in that bracket. Towards the bottom, we covered Export Fappy versus Team Gululu. And from that, Export Fappy move on versus Mackenzie. And of course, we're waiting for Time Pass versus MVP X MMG thingy to complete so we can get the match from that to move forward as well. So lots of awesome stuff happening across the board. And like we mentioned, single elimination today, best of three competition tomorrow. Double elimination. We're heading into BO5, if I'm not mistaken, right, Rev? Mm hmm. 100%, my friend, where we'll be seeing the best threes throughout the day, and our finals will be a BO5. So that's where we'll round everything out because, you know, we were looking, uh, because, you know, we were looking at some of the other games. We continue to have BO3s because of how fast the games have gone. But currently, as it stands, you know, we'll 
will be making sure that every team has a chance to have an option for for a comeback as this is a double elimination bracket as well so if you do fall initially you do have an option to climb your way back up right it's not all over just yet until it is actually over which is in the loser bracket if you lose there i'm sorry you're going home but it's fine it's a uh, still a lot on the line a lot of options you make sure to keep playing you might be able to come back yeah absolutely you know there will be more opportunity tomorrow but of course like we're saying you're going to be playing probably the easier teams today that's just how it goes in a two-day competition right mm -hmm. you've got uh, random people you've got experienced players you've got veterans of other fps titles who've never played the game coming into <laughs> it fresh looking for some competition tomorrow it's slimmed down baby there's only eight teams left you know we had a 256 mm -hmm. man bracket uh potentially to start the day leading all the way up to eight so it's gonna be the best of the best it's gonna be a lot on the line and with ten thousand dollars on the board man that you know no one's messing around here yes sir as a uh, good game hunter is the first team to make it all the way to the other end of the bracket we'll likely see them wow. tomorrow you know going towards uh going towards the final game right as of right now We'll be seeing 300 MS Ping versus MVP as MMG thingy. So <laughs> we did just need 300 MS Ping right before this. And so we'll we'll try to understand how things rack up as a hey, Atlantic against Nobs. We were talking about what that's a possibility. So we'll like you to see that tomorrow as well. Absolutely. Export Atlantic versus Nubs. Yep. You mentioned it was a possibility earlier in the day. And mm -hmm. we will get that matchup. And so that's that's something to keep our eyes out for because both these teams are stacked it's a double elim so maybe we'll even see them come back through a loser's bracket but there is a lot riding for all of these teams and of course on another side of the bracket chrism 2 making it all the way up to tomorrow's matches while we wait mm. for brazil bullet and rakshas to be done with their matchup mm -hmm. right so we're almost getting to the end right now we'll see which uh, which one of those teams that's face against krm2 and 300 ms ping game that we're about to see right now which we know will be up against mvp so either one of those two teams will face up against mckenzie and export fappy who we also saw earlier in the day and export fappy were very very good as that is up today thank you very much to bring million as your producer so that looks beautiful either one of these two can move on uh and uh as we'll see you in a lobby in just a little bit yeah awesome cool um yeah once yeah. again like we're saying shout out to cg for putting on the tournament ev.io arena based browser based shooter so if you want to get in on the action, ev.io on your PC, mobile device, whatever you want, you can get into play and you can start playing to earn today. All your winnings get converted into tokens and the tokens can convert into Solana. And so all of the $10,000 today that will be getting distributed, you know, throughout this weekend rather happens in Solana. So you have a lot of opportunities to earn both in game and on CGNY, my man. So if, if this is the best time to be playing games, I feel like. Yeah, it's a. Uh, I know a lot of people talked about how you know about a year or two ago to when the world was shut down. Essentially, uh, everybody is like, yeah, everybody's gonna be playing games right now. This is gonna mm -hmm. be where you know, like everyone's gonna try to just get into streaming and stuff on Twitch. You know, just be able to do more here. But not as we've gotten past that, the world started to become a bit more normal again, quote unquote. I feel like everybody's decided, you know, they, a lot of them people have kept their little habits. Some people go to the gym, some people play, uh, some people play EV.io. I, for one, have do, do the latter. The gym is for, the, the, the gym is for suckers, honestly. It, I go look it at is. it and I'm like, you know what? I've done enough here. <laughs> uh, our producer is like, hey, whoa, whoa, in hey, ear, whoa, he's, hey. he's an avid gym goer, but uh, look, you know, look, it's being from New York and stuff, doing saying there, hey, whoa, hey, 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 I go to the hey, gym. Whoa. Hey, <laughs> whoa. <laughs> hey, you know, no, shout outs honestly to everyone doing production too. I mean, I mean, mm. today we're talking about Rose, but I mean, in general for the CG events, um, there's a huge team of people working on these events. And so mm. they happen flawlessly. The production is awesome because of them. So shout outs Ooh. to them today. It's Rose. Follow them on Twitter or wherever, whatever social media. At Vermilion Rose. Yeah, you should be able to find them. At Vermilion Rose. But with that said, Ravish, we are heading on into the game today. We've got 300 MS ping versus mvp x mmg thingy in the green and red respectively yeah sure and the other ms ping within the first four seconds of already back to a kill all right we'll see if mvp manages to put up some more numbers this time around oh see copies coming for the kill with a hand cannon i believe too long rats continuing to connect 
Oh, good stuff overall. Keeping the pace high is the most important thing. You got respawns, and people take a second and gain their bearings. So if you can get the jump on them, man, you can get the jump in the score and 300 MS ping. Mm -hmm. Taking up 7 to 3. It seems like it'll be a tighter one, though, as MVP X MMG thingy. They're not letting 300 MS ping run wild like we've seen them do throughout the rest of the day. 100%, right? Because we were... Uh, we've seen 300 MS ping take 10 to 1 leads um, throughout the day, and... Currently though, just right after the 7-3, only being four kills down. MVP, not doing too bad as well. Max to get some time to reset. So trading one for ones currently. And that's the biggest part. Because like you were saying, having small bits of time able to get your bearings in between your small bits of kills, right? Heal up and go back in can be a huge part. But it seems that 300 MS being a cause has onto that right now. But they're not able to catch them off guard. Just yet they were low enough with the, the giveaway two kills. Uh, it was Dragon going down here too. This is where MVP starts to make the comeback to only three down. Only three down and a really beautifully done using these smoke nades to just isolate these fights and get rid of these long lanes of sight. So uh, the fight's kind of going all the way into this green team's territory. Mm -hmm. Forced on the respawn now, MVP, XMMG, it's still a three-point game, Rav, and way slower than we've seen all day long. A thousand percent. But one thing to, to note right now is as 300 MS ping looks to move in, they would pass the TP. TP already used well, but that was clean. How actually one of the players, right? Like TP's passed the other person from MVP, right? So it was himself the space. Meanwhile, his teammate that comes to the back 300 MS ping like that managed a 2v1 has been for three other fights where they create almost distraction, play their life, but they know as somebody behind them who's good for theirs. Let's see how this fight ends up. Copies trying to finish off that frag, but can't do it as they tuck around from above the corner there. 19 to 14, 300 MS Bing still in the lead, but just barely finding one more now, getting stuck in a weird spot, but still managing to stay alive. He gets the turnaround, actually. 20 to 15 here. Trying to keep it up. The momentum is high, but the movement is good from the red team. They find one, they get to safety, but 300 MS Bing is on the backside. They find two more. MVP has not been able to close this five kill clap here, here Jim, and it has only continued to grow further. Although five has been the consistent number four now, but you heard MS Ping is putting up such a fight. MVP though, playing their light off the TP, noticed that there was somebody there and decided to move back instantly. And this has been one of the players we were talking about almost the entire day. In speed, it was phenomenally. 26 to 20, 300 MS Ping chilling now, watching the top lanes here, moving through this map so quickly and trying to, oh, Ooh. trying to lock it down, but Copies. Vapora with a double there, doing a really good thing for MVP, but Ooh. 300 MS Ping good on the trades, and like you're saying, Rav, it is so good to watch. Ah, oh, they continue to flex their muscles against it, but copies though finally managed to get what we're talking about it saying how previously the movement from this guy has been electric but previously he was allowed to just rampage across the entire team's base he was allowed to take all the space he wanted to and continue to move recklessly right now not being given those options right he's seeing the mvp this managing step up but currently as it stands still six kills down Right now, a lot of these games we've seen 300 MS ping. Yuji was already at the 50 mark. Copies are taking 25 kills. MVP climbing the way back up, still down by five. Down by five, down by six now. 300 MS ping taking the fights that they want. Beautifully done here. Dragon finds one with a nade. As looking around the left side, you can see Vapora, kind of the point man for their team, leading the way and watching the left side as two more members of that red team. Mm -hmm. try to close the gap on the right side and ooh, through the smoke they're just gonna get beamed and gonna go down as copies finds one and there's a return by nizma dog overall 300 ms pink staying tighter together taking fights they want and not giving up this lead and nizma dog there actually two had a really heroic play where he managed to get two you know bossing off one with a nade and, and then getting two and one more for long range and again Nizma Dog as well, winning a really close strange fight too by being a bit Ooh. more accurate with the shots. And I'm seeing a sniper now comes into play as well. Ooh. So Copy is getting punished. Nice shots. Yeah, good stuff overall. And the score gap is now only four points. Make it three as Nismo 
and Vapora combine for a couple of kills from across the map. Two minutes and 30 seconds left on the clock. Time is ticking down, and there's only three frags separating these two squads. Every single second is going to count here. And if 300 MS Ping slip up for just a moment, they're going to give MVP the opportunity they need to maybe tie up the game. It's one point separating the two, Rev. That's been crazy. This Rock has been on his absolute tear, Jim. Closing down five kills, getting three for ones, the kind of plays they were claiming, and also praising 300 MS ping to be able to have. And now, one kill separates, make that two, Carly, but still, I've been back for almost six kills. But we're seeing 300 MS ping. They pick up the pace a lot more too. You've seen them, right? But we get a unit once again. Now Magic to close the, to move the gap over to three. Copy. Alongside his teammates, like trying to give up peril, but uh -oh. they lose the fight. And it's tied up now at 300 MS ping. Just barely bring it back and open up the gap to two now. With a minute 30 seconds left on the clock, anything could happen. They just need five more frags. MVP needs seven more. And with that, at 300 MS, find one, find two. They're looking for a third. They're keeping it tight though, Rav. One more squad kill is all that remains. That's two more pop at the TP. He gets taken down. MMG, a crucial kill, but one they cannot afford to give away right now. You do not want to be the last one going down here, Jim. As soon as you get closer, one more frag remains. And out the TP, they fall. Beautifully done by 300 MS Ping. What a match. We were talking about getting close matches. That's about as close as it can get, right? Getting tied up at about 40 or 41 frags. With a minute left on the clock, that could have been anybody's game, dude. A hundred percent, right? Okay, so this is the best three, right? And and I believe and it was 50 to 45, as we, we, we took a word of as well. And considering that we're down, what, around a six kills, climbing their way back, squad kill after squad if we go to, not giving away a single piece. And then from there, only one kill remained, but continuing forward is a tough play. A guy that just could not close. But by the end of it, I think as right now, it might be a little bit back here, right? It's, just, it's, it's a better three still. It's anybody's game. It's close, though. It's close. It's close, man. It's really close. And if I'm MVP XMMG thingy, I'm thinking about what went wrong. And honestly, I wouldn't even be able to tell you. I just think that 300 MS Fink started off with a little more gusto. They had mm. a little bit more of a lead. And as the game went on and they kind of settled into it, MVP XMMG, they look just as good. So really going into the second round, I don't even know who I've got winning this entire thing man it could go either way all right because if either one of these teams gets off to a harder start they might be able to carry that forward all the way to the end but we saw how what a phenomenal effort mvp was able to have right so that on its own too can definitely lend themselves to be able to close up bo3 give us to our get take us to our first full best three of the day but you'll find out in a little bit but for now Ready and get the lobby set up as well. We, of course, do have, you know, Brazil Bullet versus Rakshas. We're playing on the other end. We will find out who moves forward in the in the final end of the bracket. So, we'll be, that game is also about done, too. So, we'll see why the three on MS Ping and MVP managed to play against in just a couple of minutes. Yeah, man, $10,000 on the line across two days here for EV.io competition. And if you're watching any of this and it looks like a lot of fun to you and you want to get involved and you don't really have a gaming PC, you don't really have a setup, it doesn't matter. You can play on your laptop, you can play on your Chromebook, you can play on your phone. Just head on over to EV.io, make, <laughs> make an account, link your wallet, start playing and start playing to earn today, Rav. It's that simple. Mm -hmm, right, you can, look at that, you can earn money. For playing a game. Who would have thought we would come this far? You can wear <laughs> chains like mine from Amazon.ca. It's crazy. <laughs> That's it. All you gotta do is not gonna even the IO. That's it. That's man. it. It's, it's, That's it's it. Who, the future is now, old man. Log on. Play. It's true. It's true. You could honestly do anything <laughs> and it's a lot of fun ev.io really just pushing the boundaries here and if you ever played halo if you ever played cod if you ever played arena shooters overwatch quake whatever it may be you can find Handball. your proficiency here so of course rav we've got some news for y'all if you want to be the breaker of the news mm -hmm. this is our last game of the day one oh of 300 ms ping and mvp whoever closed this out takes it home moves on and we'll only be able to see what is up next what by tomorrow as well same time same place but you know moving on to the quarter semis and finals we're best of five finals but for now this is it 
This is the this is all that it means. I'm excited, man. These teams we were just talking about as the day progressed, the games would be getting better and better. And here we are getting tied up near 40 points, finally taking round one. We're heading into round two. Who knows if we'll go to our first round three of the day, but tomorrow our top eight competitors competing for $10,000 of of money, man. 10,000 bucks mm -hmm. on the, the board in a double elimination bracket. I, I don't know. It could go either way. There's a lot riding on the line and EV.io just starting its esports scene, man. It's starting off with mm -hmm. a bang for sure. You know, Jim, if I had $10,000 right now, you know what I'd do with it? What would you do? Well, First thing I look at it because be like, "Oh, it's crazy! That's a lot of money in front that's of me." That's crazy. And then I'd play more EB Dio with it because we're because we're in game. <laughs> that's it, baby. And of course, if you're wondering, some of these skins that the players have got, you can buy them too. They look good, they feel good, and of course, you earn more while you're using them. Of course, we are into the match. 300 MS ping in the green with MVPX MMG thingy in the red, and 300 MS starts off with a bomb. One one. And it's been bombed across the board that sticky new or a Semtex essentially. If you want to kid it to that, managing to get the trade. And right from the top shot is just what they actually to clutch it out. And MVP for the first time in a while actually have a lead, although 1-0, but it gets tied up just that quickly. We are neck and neck. Neck and neck now. Impulses, man. You love to see him in the air and copies. Ooh. Coming out on top, you can't get the better of him. He does go down, but he gets the trade. That's exactly what you love to see out of this veteran player. And so MVP XMMG doing a good job, keeping it tied six to six. And this game is so much quicker than the last one we just saw. And I said it before too, right? We've seen MVP do a much better job of stuffing Coffee back. Uh, it's usually been that Coffee's been allowed to just go on a tear, get two, get three, and be able to get out for free. But as of right now, MVP doing a really solid job, Magic trading right now though. Up four currently with a hand cannon close range, playing his life, but does not get out. Does not get out, Vapora. Midair, good shots from them. 12 Ooh. to 10, 12 to 11, it's a one point game. In the long range fights, the close range fights, it is all nonstop. And the movement is nonstop as well. Just for a moment now, we're seeing both teams finally group up as three as the high ground contest comes down. Copies is good for two, he wants a third and he's not able to find it just yet. But 300 MS Ping finally open up themselves with the biggest lead in the game thus far, only three points. But might be able to make it a four. Nismo Dog managed to get out the TP away. Nice track nice. for themselves. And Nismo Dog has been the person who's, uh, you know, constantly getting the two for threes every single time, getting, like, making sure the MVP set manages to stay in the lead. But playing by himself will do him no favors at all. Meanwhile, though, it's Sunset to pick things up. A copies getting two again, getting them a four kill lead. Make that five. Very nicely done. Five minutes and 30 seconds left on the clock. It's still only a four kill game. 300 MS ping looking to make it five. Great stuff there from Copy. He's always on point with those frags. Oh my God. Continuing forward here, Jim. Their MS ping continues to grow their lead. Mm hmm. And MVP. They have to find some small way in, right? It's. You've seen how the high ground has been the most contested point so far. There's a small little block where one after the other, they continue to pop back. And I wonder that like, it's a nice, it's a good vantage point that they can continue to hold and be able to find out where they're coming in from. But MVP has been doing a solid job of, you know, cutting off side lines, putting up smokes first, and then looking to go back in as you see the TPs run rampant. But after all that trade, 300 MS ping, still up by four. Still up by four, like you're mentioning. They just keep going for that high ground spot and they keep looping back. And it's because both teams want that. You know what I mean? 300 MS Ping doing a good job, though, of fighting them over and over and bringing it up to a six point difference in this title. Good double jump off the impulse there to get back into the block here. Dragon gonna go down. Copies returns with the frag there. And it's an eight kill game. 300 MS Ping slowly starting to pull away with it, but not through no small effort. You know what I mean? They just keep going back for these fights and they keep coming out on top. Finally slowing down the pace of the game just a little bit here. 34 to 26, 14 kills away. Well, sorry, 16, I make that 15. As we are 300 MS Ping. As they keep on growing the gap between them, MVP kept it close for so long. 
and finally we see the biggest lead at 300 ms ping has had against them the entire day nine kills at least not eight to make it a bit closer but they continue growing and they're almost towards the end almost towards the end now 10 kills away 300 ms ping at nine poppies yeah finds one and is yeah. trying to get out it rails him in the middle of the air great stuff overall 300 ms ping oh. oh right off the back of the tp the bait is good and they find two off that oh that was so big there too they know they'll follow up after because of how low he was as well so they just camped outside and getting to there is crazy because you're not expecting something more to follow up you're just trying to make things more even that's almost a full squad wipe i guess 300 ms ping but four kills down 11 up is 300 and they only need four the, the full force of spartans as they kick mvp off the map sheesh copies what a fantastic job there in 300 MS Ping, like you mentioned, taking them off the map, busting open this game, looking for the final frag here, and it looks like they're going to be able to do it. Copies, Dragon, and our Naporea right there, 50 to 37, man. GG's across the board. Incredible play from him and his team. Copies has not dropped lower than 23 kills in every single lobby we've seen of him. Like, yes. the highest seen so far has been 25, which is half, you know, that's a impressive on its own but nonetheless incredible team play for 300 ms ping first game was closer but second game finally it's after the consistent back and forth the finest mm -hmm. of their group and close things out by the end yeah let's go ahead now and take a look at the final bracket that we have for you for tomorrow for ten thousand dollars in the ev io dread gauntlet brought to you by community gaming and of course here we go. We just saw 300 MS ping move forward, and they'll be facing up against Export Fappy there towards the uh, for tomorrow's bracket. So a lot on the line. And of course, congrats to all the competitors that have played today. It was single elimination. So if you didn't make it today, baby, you ain't making it tomorrow either. But tomorrow mm -hmm. we're heading into double elims with the finals being a best of five. And that is the big thing to look forward to, right? All those BO3s go quite fast, but that bo5 finals can tell a lot of tales right even though you were down 2-0 there's still many more options to possibly do a full reverse sweep but we'll get to that when time does come for now though yeah we know we're seeing all these teams that are moving forward these will be our first matches when you move into tomorrow you know three est right 12 PST, I think that's around the conversion, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. So, so, as we're looking out there, aside from that, big shout out to all the teams that played today and big thing, and cannot wait for all the teams that are going to be playing tomorrow. Of course, shout out to all of you in the Twitch chat for watching and for making this game as popping as it is. And of course, shout out to production from Million Rose. Follow them on Twitter for more. And of course, CGNY for putting this damn thing on. So, with mm. that said, Rav, that's it from us for today. But of course, like we mentioned, tomorrow, be uh, double elimination best of five finals ten thousand dollars on the line ev.io's dread gauntlet brought to you by community gaming the mm -hmm. arena shooter is back baby and is here with play to earn so we will mm -hmm. see you here tomorrow at 3 p.m i'm jim basco that's ravaging ravishing ravish and we will see y'all here tomorrow again thank you so much